Someone suggested that I shoot a video showing how I paint the back of an aquarium. The first thing I do is put some masking tape down the sides here to prevent the paint from getting on the sides of the tank. And I put the aquarium on some cardboard here in my crawl space because as the paint dries I don't want to stink up my house with it and I have some nice lights down here. Surprisingly the two ounce bottles of paint from Walmart are the cheapest size to get. That is you get the most per dollar when you buy this small size. And surprisingly it doesn't seem to matter which direction you go with the brush. You get a nice flat you get a nice flat surface no matter which direction you go. And I'm going to put I'm going to paint this, allow it to dry, and then come back and do a second coat to get all of the... Now I'm going to overlap a little bit on the edge. That's just fine. Won't be visible from the front of the tank. I can go in any direction. It won't matter. These lines will... It'll all have a nice flat look to it, is what I'm getting at. So, the horizontal lines, the vertical lines, won't make any difference. Here we are 24 hours later and the only way I know to see if there are any spots that need attention is to stick my head in the tank and look through look through the back of it towards the light so you can see some spots there Some over here.
Now that it's dry, I want to carefully remove the masking tape. Hopefully it won't chip. Leave me a nice clean edge. There it is, a nice black backdrop. It probably wasn't necessary for me to stick my head in it and look for spots in the back, but I didn't realize that I had enough paint to give it a nice second coat. I don't believe there are any spots uncovered on the backdrop at this point.